Shotguns are some of the most underused weapons in Escape from Tarkov. Unless they are required for a quest-like setup, no one's really using them, just because they're that bad. Or are they? Well, in today's video, I've gathered 7 shotguns at different price points going from cheapest to most expensive to really put them to the test. So let's see how it goes. Coming in at $50, the first shotgun that I picked is the Taz, a bolt action shotgun that can't even penetrate level 2 armor. Now there is only one rule when using these shotguns, I need to get at least one kill to advance to the next, more expensive shotgun. And because the Taz is such a weak weapon, I knew I was gonna need to do some sneaky plays to get this kill. I feel like this is our best shot, like this is a shotgun and Dorm's area is really close range. Someone's on second floor. The guy on second floor seemed to be really carefree, walking around and looting crates. And I really thought this was gonna be my chance. Come on. No way. And of course, his helmet bounced the bullet. I don't believe it. No. Well, if that doesn't prove how bad the shotgun is, then I don't know what does. We hit this guy point blank in the head, and he just had a little cough after. I got ready for raid number two, and unfortunately, it was not going to get any easier. If he's not running a, any form of helmet. Okay, or we can die to a guy with an MK47 sitting in a corner. Almost 5,000 hours. Whatever, whatever, just forget about it. Next game, next game. Cheaters and rats. Cheaters and rats. Oh, stop, stop, stop. I began to wonder if getting a kill this late into the wipe with the Taws was even possible. And next game, I got my answer. One, so ah! <laughs> now there's shots at construction again. <laughs> I'm literally going in circles. This game is so dead. Oh, where is he? Yes, we got one. You should have seen my reaction when he didn't die to the first shot. I, th I thought he was just going to... What is happening? I see you. I mean, we already got a kill with the Taws, right? So, or do we count that as a two for one, huh? Maybe this, maybe this shotgun will be uh, number two and then we completed two in one raid. What do you think, guys? I'm pretty happy with that. Yo, thankfully this guy is wearing a Yushanka because I'm guessing he's trying to do a setup quest. Oh my God, no armor, nothing, and we killed him. <laughs> he's going to be so confused when he sees my loadout. All right, let's drop the Taws. We got a kill. If there's one more, I don't know what to say. And after struggling to get a kill with the Taws, we finally managed to make it happen. So I headed to my extract, and now we could advance to the next weapon, and coming in at $100 is the MP18. A single shot rifle that takes sniper bullets, but is actually classified as a shotgun. Now right away, simply because of the ammo that this weapon takes, I knew that it was going to be way better than the Taws. So I went into customs once again, but remember what I said last raid about the game being dead? Well, I ran to every hotspot, and I just couldn't find anything. And ultimately, we would end up dying to a guy lying down prone on a rooftop. Yes, no one, no one's moving. But that's okay, it's only a minor setback. So next game, I decided it's time for a map change. And the map we're going to is Ground Zero. The newest map added to Escape from Tarkov. Is that it? Pretty sure that's a PMC, right? Messed up. Oh, there goes one. Let's pick a name. Now that it was a 1v1, in perfect Tarkov fashion, his boy stopped moving. So I figured the best thing to do would be to hit a flank, and everything was going well, until... I just heard him walking, but I don't know where he is. Oh, he's still nading me, okay. He still thinks I'm in there somewhere. It's actually really good for me. No f***ing way. Scav in a rent... 
scav in a random ass location. I wonder why he's looking behind them. I literally had the play on him, bro. He had no idea I was there until the scav gave me away. But we got one kill. On to the next one. As you could tell, I was really happy to be playing this game. But it was time to go on to the next shotgun. And coming in at $250 is the Benelli with only one mod. And that is the Remington Tactical Choke. Giving us minus 20 vertical recoil. And I was kind of excited to be finally moving on to the better shotguns. And right away, I could tell the difference from the previous two. Take a look. Seem like a low-level player. He's got a VPO. We f***ed him up. Where's the guy with the SVD? Hey, we dropped one. Is someone else coming over here? Hey. <laughs> Hit him with that leg shot. Two snipers, perfect, bro. He had a deagle. Why wouldn't you try to kill me with a deagle? Tarkov is meant to feel like you're being kicked in the balls. I love when people say that instead of calling out both the mechanics and bugs. Oh, got more shots. The building you need for the wine quest. Well, we got his buddy. We did in fact get his buddy. Now for the next shotgun, we're going to be using the MP155, which is a semi-automatic shotgun. And for the mods, we have a Remington tactical choke and a holographic sight. And this raid turned out to be pretty interesting. The map that you start on changes. Oh my god, wait. PMC. I see blood. I think we might have killed him. Yeah, we did. He's probably confused as, f as as to how I killed him. Saw him through the crack in the door. Level 6. Wait, if this guy's level 6, then he definitely has a teammate. The reason I say that is because I'm in high level lobbies. Like, I'm over level 20, so I shouldn't be getting into games with people this low level. So the only other way for him to be in my game is if he loaded in with a friend. Okay, where is this boy, bro? We did hear shots over here somewhere. So maybe they spawned in, his friend was AFK, and this guy didn't feel like waiting for him. I mean, that could have happened, right? We got a guy with an unsuppressed M4. Damn. It's too many squad. Hey, these are definitely the buddies. I'm trying to hide my blueberry helmet here. Wait, did I just drop him? Where's this guy gone? Did he go upstairs? Is he just camping there now? Oh, that's kind of sad. I feel like he should have died on... Oh, 
I need ammo. Hey man, what? One moment, one moment. What? Uh, listen to me. <laughs> I do what? You do for me? What do you want? Man, I'm so sorry. My uh, my English is very bad. Uh, we need the help and one anymore. Hmm. My English is very bad, man. Until <laughs> until in the player, uh, the full gear. I'm down. Uh, can you follow me and and see you in the in the gear? Uh, who is talking? Man, something for me. <laughs> can you see? Where are you? Uh, I'm here. Uh, Okay, I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit. Come fit for me. This don't kill me. I don't anything more. Okay? okay? Okay. Okay. Don't shoot me, please. Can you trick in the in the melee? Uh, this is a setup. Uh, you are questing or what? Yeah, questing, 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 questing. Here, here. Yeah, I don't, I don't attack you, man. Okay. I don't attack you. I have yeah, here, here. I know, just like that. And just like that, we managed to get 3 PMC kills with the $500 shotgun. And then I safely made it to my extract. But now it's time for the $1,000 shotgun. And that's going to be the MP155 again. But this time, a very futuristic looking version. And right away after spawning in, the jump in price point made a lot of sense. Oh my god, and that's what a thousand dollars can get you. Yep, nice G36 for me. Bro, he didn't even have time to get one shot off. I think that was the best showcase of jumping from the 500 to a thousand range mark. Even though it's the same shotgun, I don't think the last build would have been able to do that. Like, did you see how steady all those shots were? Even though I was literally just rapid firing this thing. Oh my god. It's a close one. Yeah, I think we dropped that dude. Where is he? Still alive. Oh my god. There's a guy pushing me from the winery. Wait, what the fuck? That's a full squad! Bro, that's a three-man squad! Where did they come from? That three-man squad was just chilling in the winery, bro. Okay, that was bullshit. Can we just agree that was bullshit though? The guy didn't even know what he was shooting at. He just shot randomly because his friend fucking died in front of him. Like, fuck, just let me fight the actual good players and like you sh just go somewhere else. Holy f Remember the rules, guys. We get one PMC kill. We move on to the next weapon. And that next weapon is the Saiga. We're two and a half thousand dollars. And for this game, I'm going to be running in a duo. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, in front. I, I would SVD. Them. Well, I didn't see him either, but I heard the shots. I see him. Wait, don't run, don't run. Coming towards us? Don't move, don't move. Yeah, coming towards. Got him. Any more? Might be one more, I'm not sure. That dude definitely got a fright. Let me see if this is the guy. Yeah, SVD on him. Pretty good, actually. Oh, you got killed by someone killed that scab. Someone killed that scab. Really? Yeah, yeah. Go to the land bridge. You'll probably meet someone there. Okay. Oh, yeah. I hear him. I, I literally heard metal. Like, I'm pretty sure he's somewhere next to the train. But I think he heard me, bro, because he ran and then he stopped moving. Oh, yeah. Did you, like, go around him or something and make some pressure? Or, you know, make some noise, maybe, on his side? Yeah, I can, I can do it, yeah. No, I hear him. Where we killed the first guy. First guy, where we killed him. Really, some guy right there right now. Nades at me. Oh, good. I see him. Yeah, all yours. Speaking of. You want a nade?
I need it. I don't know if I got him. Oh my god, I can't believe I messed it up. Oh, he's got SVD too. Right? Oh, I'm dead. He's, he's camping a bush, man. He's still in that side. With an SVD, yeah. Bro, how is he still alive? I could have killed him with the SVD, but I wanted to get the shotgun kill. Oh, I dropped the mag. I killed him. Yeah, two SVD guys. But the bad thing is I dropped the mag, so now I only have like 120 rounder. With my duo dying, I wanted to go to my extract to reset for the next raid. But on my way there, I heard some gunshots in Stronghold. Oh my god, he's literally lying down prone. Against all odds, we managed to eliminate our enemy. So I looted up, started heading to my extract, and then... What? We get aimbotted by a scav. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, dude, there was a different player. You, you, I think you were right. Yeah, so 4 PMC killed. I wonder who the second guy was then. And even though we died, I still think that was a pretty good raid. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, we've got the $10,000 shotgun. As you can see, we got the thermal. So we can see during nighttime and we can also see through bushes. And yeah, let's see how good this thing is. Now, this thing should be insane, right? But I'm scared. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, there's a guy on the road. Bro, I'm pretty sure he's cheating. The raid backpack? I peek for one second and he already blacks out my leg. That's crazy. He probably knows that I have a thermal. He wants to... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and uh, there goes the thermal. Sick game. Sick game, BSG. White name. Yep. I mean, yeah, 31 hours. Yeah. Comment down below, guys, how there's no cheaters in Tarkov. And yeah, that was the $10,000 shotgun.